We'll be working our thumbnails here. You'll want to have eight of them on the front and eight of them on the back. Make sure in the upper right hand corner you get your first and last name and the hour that you're working on here. We are going to be doing them in 3D or isometric projection that we discussed yesterday. We'll be working on 120 degree axes that we've discussed yesterday as well. As you can see, As you can see, I've already done some of my pre-drawing, pre-sketching of all the blocks. I will left one blank up in the upper left-hand corner to show you that, how to get that block drawn. You'll want to pre-draw all your blanks and blocks as well prior to doing your thumbnail drawings. We'll zoom in on this area so you can see what I'm doing. The first thing we're going to do is draw the bottom line of the block, the CO2 blank, at about a 30 degree angle off vertical by doing our dot to dot method. Remember you want to use dot to dot or multiple line method. Here we're drawing our back line going up vertical from the back. We'll now come to our front line. Draw a dot above, directly vertical and draw up to it. Now we're going to connect those top two dots and get the front of our CO2 blank. This is what we're discussing as the front right here. Now we have to come back and get these three lines in place. We're going to draw dots at the ends of them. And they're going to be equidistant or the same distance away. These should be equidistant. We're using our pencil here to measure to make sure that they're equidistant. We want to put the dots then in place again in the back. Make sure the pencil, check it out, make sure it's equidistant. Remember these lines should be parallel as well. Now it's a matter of connecting all the dots. Rotate your paper to draw straighter lines if you need to. Connect the front line and then connect the corners going back. Now we have our block. You can continue this on all of your blocks. Remember this is isometric projection of your block. Now we're going to start the actual drawing of our car. We're just going to pick a nice curved car here that a lot of students choose. And you're going to pretend like you're drawing it on that wall. We're going to come back and kind of mock up the back wall there. And we're going to mimic this line or copy this line. There I mocked up the back wall. Draw the back line across to that new little light line that I did in the back corner. And now it's from those two points is where my new mimic has to be and it has to be on the back surface so it's going to be up and to the right a little bit of my first line and we have a 3d car that came out of that if you draw light enough you don't have to erase but since I did not draw light enough I'm gonna to have to erase my main block a little bit be careful not to erase what you want to keep again remember thumbnails are neat not sloppy, but they're quick, not a lot of detail. We don't want to be spending a lot of time on each thumbnail. I don't care about paint colors, I don't care about uh, wheels or any of that at this time. Now we're going to cut a circle through the center of it, kind of make the front forked a little bit. See how I'm kind of following the lines there? Erase that center out. Now we have a forked thumbnail here. Please remember with your thumbnails, each one is going to be individual. Each one is going to be different. You can get some decent ideas here, but you want to come up with original ideas. I don't want to see 16 of the same car. 
you're going to be choosing one of these thumbnails to go on to your design sketch when it comes to that point. You can see here how I'm rounding off the back of my car a little bit, kind of cleaning it up, kind of making it round. And again, I'm not looking for perfection here. I'm looking for neat drawings that are going to get you some ideas that I can tell what is in your head. Good luck with your thumbnails.